There is one film light that single-handedly took my cinematography to the next level and helped shape all of these shots. This light is powerful, dynamic, and most importantly, it produces a high quality output. And the light that we're talking about today is the GVM 650B Pro Series film light. Today we're gonna to talk about why this light is so special, the features, the specs, and how this light can completely transform your cinematography. I'm a firm believer that every cinematographer should have at least one powerful, strong light in their kit. And that's because there's so many situations where you're in an uncontrolled environment or you're even outside trying to battle the sun and you need something really powerful to be able to properly light your scene. The GVM 650B is a powerhouse of a light. The ability to output 21,600 lux and 653 watts of maximum power. And just to put this into perspective for you guys, I have never once had to crank this light up to maximum power. I have shot interviews with the camera pointing straight out into the window and used six stops of ND. And as you guys can see, the subject is way too dark. And with the 650B, I'm able to properly expose my subject and maintain all the highlight information outside the window. Whereas before, I wouldn't even have the option to shoot towards a window because the lights that I had weren't powerful enough to properly light my subject. Now with the 650B, now I can light my subject exactly how I want to with complete control, which to me is a game changer and something that I didn't even really know that I needed until I had. Another huge benefit of this light is the fact that it has a very wide color temperature of 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 7500 Kelvin, which is extremely helpful when you're trying to dial in different looks to a scene or even match the, the exterior lighting that's coming in from outside. Now let's just take a second and talk about what comes with the purchase and how this whole thing works. Right out of the box, you get a 650B light frame, which is an absolute beast. You get the reflector dish, the controller, which also comes with an attachment that allows you to attach this to a C-stand. And then you get two separate cables, a cable for power, and of course, a cable that connects the controller to the light. Now, one thing that I noticed right away upon opening up this case was this material that it's made from is solid. Like the build quality is just on point, man. Like it's heavy, don't get me wrong. It's definitely on the heavier side of a film light but when I think of GVM in the past I always thought of like cheaper plasticky kind of stuff that would break down over time but this pro series they really went all in on and they made a really really good quality light and you could tell that if you drop this thing or bang it around it definitely can take a beating which is very good because I have owned other cheaper lights that are mostly made of carbon fiber or plastic and over time they slowly break down and they slowly start not to work so well. So it's good to know that if you are banging this thing around or using this as a workhorse on a lot of different productions, this thing really does feel like it's gonna uphold that quality. Now, one thing that I will suggest is that this light is way too heavy to put on a cheap C-stand. So if you don't have like a nice, good, solid C-stand, I would definitely consider going out and getting one. You're either gonna have a C-stand that's gonna either not be able to support this weight or very easily tip over and this thing's gonna come crashing down. So just take that into consideration consideration when you are buying this light. Now, coming to the controller, again, it's a solid build. It's made with quality. It's got a little handle. The, the buttons are nice and solid. To me, it really does feel like this whole thing is thought out. It's a well-made, well-built product that is good for the future. Now, in addition to being able to plug this directly into a wall outlet, you could draw power that way, or you could actually add two V-mount batteries and hot swap them if you need to. One thing that I noticed right away that I really loved is the fact that the intensity adjustment, you can go up in increments of 0.1, which allows you to really dial in the exact brightness you're looking for. Another useful feature is the FX control, which has 12 dynamic light effects. And of course, you can control all of this by using the Smart App. Now, the GVM 650B comes in at a price of $999. And believe it or not, this is actually really cheap for a light that has all of these different features and produces the kind of quality and power this light does. Just to give you guys an example of the Aperture equivalent, which is the Aperture 600X Pro, which comes in at a price of $1,999. This light coming in at half that price 
and being able to deliver pretty much all the features that that light is able to deliver makes you really question which light is the better light to go with. And in my opinion, if you're talking about lights in the past, I would normally direct you to go towards Aperture. But this GVM Pro Series definitely gives Aperture a run for its money. And the fact that it comes in at half the price, the build quality is great. And you're getting such a strong, powerful light that I've used for, you know, in that hour to two hour range. And I didn't notice any drop in power or quality of that light. In fact, I've never once had to put this up to 100%. To me, this is an amazing bang for your buck. And I think GVM has really done something special with this Pro Series. As someone who makes a lot of documentaries, I feel good knowing that I have at least one really strong, powerful light in almost any situation I go into. It doesn't matter if it's a really dark environment or if I need to throw this up in a window and really smash light through a window just to give an overall ambience to a room, I can now do that. and. That's what's so great about having one, at least one really powerful light in your kit. If you guys have any questions about this light or any other gear in my arsenal, let me know. I'm happy to talk about it. I'm happy to answer your questions. And if you guys wanna buy one of these lights, I do have a couple of links down below that'll direct you straight to Amazon. You can buy it off there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.